Hey church, we're continuing our study in the book of James. So on Sundays, we're looking at each chapter right through the five chapters of James. I want to just bring to you just a thought and a devotion around one of the verses in James chapter 1, verse 26. Let me read it to you. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this man's religion is worthless. Wow. I don't want my religion to be worthless. It goes on to say in those verses after that, that um, we're to be religious about looking after orphans and widows and to be religious about how we live our lives in accordance with God's word. So we're to be religious, not in that negative sense of just doing a form of religion, but being consistent in looking after people who have needs and consistent in the way we live our life. But it says that we are to bridle our tongues, and if we don't, we're going to deceive our own hearts. Well, I don't want to deceive my heart. And a bridle is put on a horse to set the direction for that horse. And so it's saying to us here in James that when we speak, we're setting direction for our lives. So we won't, don't want to be setting the wrong direction and deceiving our own hearts and end up, end up um, being worthless in the way in which we live our life. So it's really important that we say the right thing. When we go to God in prayer, we're trusting God for something, we're believing God for something, then the, what, what we say when we're not in prayer is really important too. That we align what we say with what we're trusting God for. Or we speak well of people. We speak affirming of people. We speak um, words of faith that express a heart of faith. So it's really important that we don't get stuck in ruts of negativity and criticism, but we actually speak with words of faith and words of love and words that align with what we're believing and trusting God for. So it's really important that you think about what you say and set your heart to say the right thing. Let our words be words of affirmation, words of love and words of faith. God bless you and have a great day.